NASA researchers have finally discovered that Earth's gravity keeps changing, and scientists can't guarantee that there won't be any unexpected leaps in the near future. Even if gravity changes by only 1%, the consequences will be catastrophic. So you better hold on tight. In this video, you'll find out, can whales drown? Could Newton have been wrong in assuming what would happen if gravity disappeared? And most importantly, why do we even need gravity? People tend to underestimate what they don't see. Radiation kills only those who believe in it, said Homer Simpson. And a lot of people feel the same way about gravity. But what will happen if we change that physical quantity just a little bit? Like, how about reducing it by only 1%? Oddly enough, ordinary people would hardly notice it. We'd walk, breathe, and see like we normally do. However, all the sensors on the Earth's artificial satellites would instantly throw us errors, as they would all simultaneously distance themselves from us. And even a serious organization like NASA would have a hard time fixing all the breakdowns ever and anon. If gravity, on the contrary, increased by not even 1 but as much as 5%, even that wouldn't be a sufficient reason to take an emergency time off. Perhaps some athletes would be horrified to discover that they can no longer lift a bar with the same weight. Some weather stations would notice a slight increase in temperature because with the increase in gravity, the Earth would move a little closer to the sun. It doesn't seem like a big deal does it? But even minor changes in the gravitational field would have serious long-term consequences. Both a reduction or an increase in gravity would necessarily affect the Earth's core and the surrounding mantle. All the layers of our planet would simultaneously shake, entailing the destruction of many underground structures, which would be immediately penetrated by hot magma. And over time, this will lead to a series of volcanic eruptions in different parts of our planet. So much for 1%. But why are we so dependent on gravity, a force we can't even feel? Gravity was discovered by Isaac Newton in 1687. But why are scientists still arguing about it these days if readjustments of formulas have no effect on human lives? Well, the thing is, it predetermines how our world began and how it will end. Newton determined that all objects are attracted to each other, but the magnitude of this force depends on the mass of these objects and the distances between them. That's what Newton's law is all about. However, in the 20th century, Albert Einstein realized that there was a need to make some adjustments to this formula. Newton's assumptions worked perfectly on Earth, but they were clearly not enough to calculate the gravitational field of objects outside of the solar system. That's how Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity was born. It's a set of laws that has long been equivalent to the holy scriptures for scientists. But this truth also seems to require reconsideration now, because it can't explain the interaction between gravity and quantum mechanics, and those were the processes that took place in the first few milliseconds after the Big Bang. But if we're still unsure even about that, can we claim that gravity will always be stable? What will happen if it, for example, increases dramatically? First of all, many animals will be out of luck. Giraffes will simply be unable to get their heads off the ground. And all whales will drown and end up sticking to the bottom of the ocean. But those numerous challenges facing Greenpeace will be just the beginning. People will never enjoy jelly and pudding again. All food will become exceptionally hard. Most likely, people's sexual preferences will also change. If these days men tend to be proud of their impressive manhood, only the owners of modest-sized sexual organs will be able to get an erection under conditions of doubled gravity. So in case you're sensitive about that, don't worry. Maybe one day you'll be known as a true ladies' man thanks to glitches in our physical laws. 
But all jokes aside, doubling Earth's gravity will have an enormous impact. Our planet's core won't be able to withstand such a load, and it will collapse, breaking through the entire planet. Earth would end up looking like a giant donut. But instead of cream, hot magma will flow out of it. Should I mention that even the deepest bunkers won't help people in such a case? But wait, what comes next is far more interesting. Do you know what will happen if gravity disappears completely? Under such circumstances, people will witness many extraordinary phenomena. All water bodies will turn into arrays of sparkling balls. It will feel like we're inside of a short exposure image. But you won't enjoy that beauty for long. At first, each person would generate their own gravitational field and attract various small objects like paper clips or pencils. But for larger objects, we'd become such prey ourselves, helplessly sticking to benches or buses. After that, people and other everyday objects would just start flying off into space. The most massive source of gravity near our planet would be the moon. And many objects would fly all the way up there at the incredible speed of about 200 meters per second. Quite soon, the moon would acquire a ring of remnants of human civilization around it, and that ring of trash would eventually become part of our rocky companion. But what would happen if gravity disappeared there as well? What if there were no gravity in the entire universe? Something tells me you already know the answer. Without any gravitational field, our planets would disintegrate into fragments. Other celestial bodies would suffer the same fate. Eventually, the universe would become a broth with a bunch of scattered atoms and molecules. Maybe experts are still debating about gravity for a reason. After all, our existence literally depends on it. Or should they dig the other way? A Dutch theoretical scientist named Eric Verlin and some of his colleagues believe that gravity doesn't exist at all. In short, he believes that it's not we who are attracted to the Earth, but Earth, together with other celestial objects, is constantly moving upwards, pushing us all the time. On the surface, this sounds absurd. But what if that's what could explain the gaps in the existing theories of gravity? If it's all related to the fact that gravity doesn't exist? Do you think humanity isn't really mistaken in its conception of the world? And will we ever know the whole truth?